My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, the Lord is risen, alleluia. Recently, our own Archbishop, His Excellency Alexander Sample, has released to the priests of the Archdiocese of Portland his plan for allowing public masses again. The plan is for limited reopening of masses in accord with the current restrictions put forth by Governor Brown. He emphasized some points, and I want to emphasize them as well. The obligation to attend Mass on Sundays and Holy Days of Obligation will continue to be dispensed. So if you don't feel comfortable returning to Mass yet, that is okay. Masses will continue to be live-streamed from St. Mary Catholic Church. In accordance with Governor Brown's executive orders, the number of people at Mass cannot exceed 25 people. This includes the celebrant, essential ministers, cantors, musicians, and anyone present. Appropriate social or physical distancing, a minimum of six feet, and adequate cleaning of the church after each use will be maintained. We will do what we can to ensure a clean environment, but please know that you are coming at your own risk. I cannot guarantee the health of anyone. I can only guarantee that we will be vigilant about cleaning and maintaining the proper directives and about social distancing, etc. Those who are sick at all must not come to Mass, and those in vulnerable, at-risk populations are urged not to come to Mass. Very soon, this coming week, we will provide a way for you to sign up for Mass on our website for attendance at public Mass. And also, you would be able to call the office. Please note that this list of people will be on a rotating schedule, so you may get a daily Mass or a weekend Mass. Our goal is to give people the opportunity to receive our Lord, to attend Mass at some point during the week or month, depending on the length of the list. Unfortunately, it is too challenging to get the needed infrastructure in place, sign-up systems, volunteers, cleaners, etc., in place to begin this weekend of May 10th. So Sunday, May 17th, will be the first day that all Masses will be open for regular parishioners to attend. Three English Masses being offered and one Spanish Mass on that Sunday. For the first two weeks, all weekday Masses will be dedicated to providing the sacraments to those who have been preparing for their first Holy Communion and those in RCIA. The plan is to leave the days of Monday, May 11th through Saturday, May 16th, available for First Communions, then the week of Monday, May 18th to Saturday, May 23rd, for our people in the RCIA to be brought into the church. The procedure for getting onto the list to attend Mass as well as the Mass schedule will be announced on the website and through email very soon. One can also call the parish office at 541-342-1139 to get on the list, or one can email the office at information at stmaryeugene.com. Please note that you will need to be on the list in order to get into the Mass. We will need a phone number and first and last name of each person who is coming to the Mass. Families do not count as one person. Each individual member of the family will need to be on the list individually. For instance, if you have five members in your family, then they take up five of the available 25 people that are allowed to come to the Mass. I will try to maintain the Mass time of 12.15 for funeral Masses on Thursdays in an attempt to refrain from scheduling parishioners during that Mass time in case there is a funeral. Otherwise, those who are scheduled would need to be bumped in favor of the family members attending the funeral. 
Please only sign up for the Mass at one parish. Do not sign up to attend Mass at St. Alice and St. Mary and St. Thomas and St. Peter and St. Mark. No, don't do it. Be charitable and allow others their opportunity to attend Mass. So these are the things that we are doing to ensure your health. We will have someone at the door to check if you are on the list in order to ensure the maximum capacity of 25. Remember, no walk-ins are allowed, only people on the list. Those attending Mass are encouraged to wear a mask. Pews will be assigned to maintain physical distancing. As you can see, we have taped off some of the pews in order to maintain the physical distancing. Masses will probably be shorter in order to minimize the length of possible exposure. Once again, I urge you, if you have any symptoms of sickness, stay home. All books or cards or bulletins in the church have been removed. The pew cushions have been removed. Holy water fonts have been removed. Anything that could be a vector for transmission of contagion has been removed from the church. For your protection, our priests will wear a mask during the distribution of Holy Communion. He will purify his hands before the distribution of Holy Communion. Only the precious body of our Lord will be distributed during Holy Communion. And the floor is marked in order to maintain physical distancing during Communion. During the consecration, the sacred hosts to be distributed will be covered in the ciborium to ensure that the sacred hosts have not been breathed on by the celebrating priest. Between each mass, the pews, the restrooms, the doorknobs, the handles, push plates will be cleaned. We will keep a record of all in attendance at mass so that in the unfortunate event that someone who attended mass has become sick, that person could let us know and we could know all those that have been present and they could be notified of potential exposure. Please know, above all, that we care about you, we love you, and all of these things are in place to ensure your well-being and safety. I look forward to seeing you at Mass. Welcome back, and please be patient as we deal with all of these challenges and restrictions together. Thank you, and God bless you all.